Linda Sterling was one of the most beloved and most fabulous jungle queens ever. Her tiger woman is iconic. So it may come as a surprise to learn that she graduated from UCLA, Phi Beta Kappa, and taught English, Shakespeare, and literature at Glendale College for 27 years, receiving the Distinguished Faculty Award for Outstanding Teaching. Her continuing education included New College in Oxford, England, the Universities of Madrid, Moscow, and St. Petersburg. In addition, she pursued Irish literature in Dublin, and Renaissance studies in Ashland, Oregon. Linda Sterling was the last, perhaps the greatest of the cliffhanger serials Queen's next to Pearl White of the Silent Era. Yet, she dominated the genre during the sound era and is fondly remembered by serial buffs. Linda Sterling was born in 1921 as Louise Schultz in beautiful Long Beach, California. She was bit by the acting bug at a very early age. At just 12 when she took acting classes in school and then with the community theater. She eventually enrolled and studied for two years at the prestigious Ben Bard's Academy of Dramatic Arts. She paid for her education by working as a model. Her cover picture on a magazine brought her to the attention of Republic Pictures. The Tiger Woman serial was intended for the Nuka serial Queen Kay Aldridge, but she was exiting Hollywood after her marriage. After an interview with Sterling, Republic Pictures signed her to a seven-year contract. The Tiger Woman was her first serial and credited movie. She was an excellent actress, but she couldn't ride a horse, and there was a lot of horseback riding in the series. But, through determination, she quickly learned, and The Tiger Woman was a great success. She appeared in more than 40 westerns, features, serials, and television shows from 1943 to 1959. She is remembered most for The Tiger Woman, Zorro's Black Whip, Manhunt of Mystery Island, The Purple Monster Strikes, The Crimson Ghost, and Jesse James Rides Again. Linda Sterling has the Hollywood record for being the number one bondage queen when it comes to ropes, gags, and whips. She was tied up and gagged more than any other actor. But this seeming damsel in distress could also crack a whip, bringing men to their knees and dominating them. She said, I made my living getting beat up, tied up, gagged, and thrown off a horse. Reflecting on her Hollywood years, she said, but despite everything, those days were wonderful fun. Everyone was congenial, we managed to find time to laugh a lot, play practical jokes, and kid around. I learned how to work fast and well. Yet when the old serials are shown today, audiences marvel at the production and quality that they had. That's because everyone did their best to make the serials good. Linda Sterling passed away in 1997 at age 75. She had a 44-year marriage to writer-producer A. Sloan Nibley and was survived by their two sons. One writer characterized her as possessing presence, wholesomeness, beauty, and versatility. And those are what made her the heroine that she was, and still is.